Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Welcome to the Political Machine 2016 Early Access. Any of you old timers who have been with the channel from the beginning know that the very first LP I ever did was the Political Machine 2008. And then a number of years later I did 2012. And both of those I used a character named Charles. Um, later on I want to do, like next year, close to the election, I want to do a proper LP with him. But since it's Early Access time, you can see like multiplayer and a couple of things they're waiting to implement yet. I figured, why not make another character and just have fun with it right now? So we're going to do medium um, length, starting funds 100%. We're going to use challenging difficult, more than normal. And since we Charles was a Republican, I think it's time we do a YouTube one with a Democrat. And I made one. You can see Charles Dicksucker there waiting for later this year when he runs to defend his office. But we're going to be the cheerleader Lucy Vagina. See, she's cheering for America. Uh, if you look at her stats, she's got a lot of stamina. I heard because she was on her back a lot in college. Looks like she just got out of college. She's going to be a 35-year-old college student then. Um, okay at money, okay at fundraising, decent charisma, appearance. Not very credible, not very experienced, but she's really intelligent. She's kind of like an idiot savant. She says a lot of dumb things, but then certain things she's really smart on. She's like, you know what I like in the morning? Food. <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of a my, uh, minority appeal with her and media bias. The religious people aren't big fans of her because she probably sleeps around a lot. She sluts it up. Uh, she believes in abortion rights, Black Lives Matters, legalizing the ganja. She's like, 420 every day, everybody. Even the babies need pot. Um, she believes in student loan reform. Uh, she is against video game violence. If you see negatives here, it doesn't mean that that's a bad part on their stat. That means they're against a thing. Positive means they're for a thing. And she's for Wall Street regulation. So that's our Democratic candidate from New York. And we're going to be running against, oddly enough, I don't think I've ever done this before, a Republican from the same state. We're going to run against Mr. Donald Trump's. Vagina versus Trump. Win states, win the election. Up for grabs, lean your way, certain victory. So this explains the map. If the state is gray, it means the state hasn't decided which way they lean yet. Because each week, you will see the state become a color. Um, if you're not familiar with the American judicial, or not judicial system, election system for president, we do not directly elect our president. What you do is, whatever state you in, live in, let's say California here, you vote for a presidential candidate. Whoever gets the majority of the votes gets all the electoral college votes from the state. I believe it's 54 from California. I could be wrong. And then those are the people who actually vote for the president. California being the biggest one. If it's dark blue like this, it means certain victory. Blue is what matters for us because we are a Democrat. Uh, that's just how to move your character. Um, this is how. These are ways you can raise awareness... You can create ads. You can give speeches. Speeches are free, you know. Uh, raise funds. We're going to need to raise a lot of funds. Build headquarters. We'll get into that soon. And the special interest, we can do dirty things. Um, so right now, if you look at just kind of a preliminary poll, about 16% of the nation um, who are Democrats are supporting us. Um, about 16% are supporting Trump. And about 68% of the country is undecided right now. If we look at the really early polls... Um, we can see kind of breakdowns of individual issues. Not really worried about that right now. If the election were right now, today, we, in the Zagby poll, are um, guesstimated to win. That's really too early. So we want states to be blue as we are the Democrats. He wants states, uh, Mr. Donald does, to be red. Oddly enough, we're from the same state here. Um, this here is his election headquarters, and this is our election headquarters. Those matters, because we're going to go to build um, a HQ. Um, before we do that, though, uh, what did I do? Oh, I clicked on the state. This is how many electoral college votes you need to win, 270. Oh, according to this, we're in a dead heat. That doesn't really matter. So we have $2.5 million to start with. Trump might have more than us. I think he starts with $5 million. This is our stamina. Everything you do takes stamina for each turn. So we're going to upgrade our headquarters. There are three kinds of buildings you can build. I'll get into that later. You start with the campaign headquarters in your home state. They are good for cash. Uh, they help bring in more cash and increase your awareness in a region. Um, they also help you find out what the top 15 issues are available if you get to um, level 2. These stars show what level. Um, so we're going to upgrade our headquarters to level 2. 
That took us half a million dollars. And we're going to upgrade it one more time to level three. That'll tell us all the issues in New York. Um, the awareness will be stabilized in the region, and we will get a free political oper operative. So right now, if you look at the awareness in the region, we have 20%. The left number is us. The right number is Trump. So about 20% of um, New York is familiar with us and about 20% with him. Um, you can see right here, these are the number of electoral college votes. The state is worth. New York is a big state for that. Um, Texas is also a huge state. California is the biggest. Oh, California is 55. I'm sorry, I was off by one. They used to be 54. And um, let's see. Our top three campaign things are... Wait, those aren't us. That's... Uh, that's, that can't be us. We're not trying to repeal Obamacare. A strong military or common core. That's got to be Trump's issues. Um, and we can look into New York, like I said, and see what's really important here. We will do that more later. Um, what do we do now? We can fundraise. We could move to another state. This guy is a political operative. We got him because we, when you max out your headquarters at level three, you get a political operative. So we're going to send him to Pennsylvania to spread the good word about Lucy Vagina. I love that. <laughs> and, um, man, the music is way low. Maybe I'll adjust that between this one and the next one. And we're going to fundraise the big states, Texas, New York, California. They have the most money. Give me that money, yo. Mo money is mo problems. And now we've used all of our stamina. That's the end of our turn. We can look at our assets. See what's Trump's best stat? He's got a ton of money. Not much credibility yet, though. And now we can see where Trump is going. Okay, so he put a headquarters in Ohio. And he's going to stump in Texas. And he put another headquarters there. And we're not going to be able to compete with him directly, at least not right away with money. So we're going to go to Ohio as well. Because no Republican has ever won the White House without Ohio. Let us build a headquarters here. We're going to go with another campaign headquarters. Um, as you can see here, uh, these are the different ones. You have to work your way up. Or, or these are the different groups. We want campaign headquarters because that will get us $10,000 a week. That will bring in money. Help us get some more Ohio issues and uh, awareness bonus. Uh, we'll do that. I want to create a TV ad. So what do we want to do? We want to tell everybody that our character, Lucy Vagina, wants to um, reduce unemployment, create more jobs. That's going to cost a lot of money. It's going to air nationwide. It's going to give us a three change in Ohio and a two change nationwide. And that's very important to us because if we go to the polls, um, reducing unemployment, oh, we actually have more credibility than Trump in that. I'm surprised. I don't mind, though. And let us upgrade our headquarters to um, the second level in Ohio. And then we're going to go... Oh, wait, we don't have any more stamina. I was going to go back to New York. Get out of my state, Trump! So we're going to fly back to New York because we need more money. We're like, Mommy. He's like, Mommy, I need some money because I'm not running for president and stuff. And I have a Pope hat. I'm going to be P President Pope. They'll be like, that's nice, dear. Make it rain money. Keep raining that money. We need a million dollars. Oh, man, that's no good. Man, he's got all that money. He's got a headquarters in New York, Ohio, Florida, Texas, and California. It's good to be rich. God damn it, Trump. That doesn't help us at all. <laughs> Ooh, would you like to appear on 60 Seconds? Uh, this is like a parody of 60 Minutes. You've been invited to appear on the 60 Seconds. This show has been a staple of evening television for decades and is trusted by millions of Americans across the country. The interviewer, Leslie Danger, is known for asking brief, direct questions that cut to the heart of the issue. You'll need to be prepared to give an equally direct answer or risk alienating your supporters by dodging the issue. Man. All right. We're going to have to see if Lucy can handle it. 
Tonight, our reporters go undercover to investigate the city underbelly of office supply retailers. Do you know where your staplers come from? I Leslie Danger. That story and more tonight on 60 Seconds. What's your view on public sector unions? Man, she's got a witch's nose. I like to have unions with boys in my crotch, but people need jobs and unions make jobs. Um, you need to be better than deep fried. <laughs> she, no, she's going to be like, unions are a part of the fabric of American labor. They're the reason we have a middle class and the reason we have weekends. Um, even to this day, they remain the first line of defense for the American worker to work in unsafe conditions. That's why babies don't work in coal plants anymore, even though they have little tiny hands that could get all the coal. So, like, I support the unions. We don't want to go back to a world before collective bargaining. Wow. American farmers continue to have a hard time. That means she did really good. Further to the right, better. Making ends meet. You feel that farm subsidies are a viable solution to the plight. Um, she's not going to say she's against farms. I think we'll use that one, because she's... We should be wary of, like, subsidizing industries, but, like, nations in Europe subsidize farmers. If we want our farmers to remain competitive and retain some control of safety and quality of our food supply, we need to subsidize them. But you shouldn't eat piggies, because they're cute. Oh, I love the piggies. Oh, that, w that did pretty well, too. That's all we have tonight. Join us next week when we take an in-depth look at reality television and the people who watch it. Or today's modern plot lines and turnabouts causing viewer heart attacks. We'll see this and more in the next 60 seconds. Sometimes they run through the dialogue. They're too quick. Man, for, just, for trying to be President Pope and wearing a cheerleader outfit, she had a strong show in 60 um, seconds. So right now, popular vote-wise... Poll-wise, these are just polls. She looks like she's ahead. That question mark means there some, could be something really good or bad there. Oh, and that means there's a TV appearance there, too. So we are going to... Raise funds. Daddy, I need more money. And then we're going to fly all the way over here to the TV appearance. You can see the blue here is increasing. Part of that is because we got this national TV spot in Ohio about Lucy wants the economy to come back in jobs. Uh, part of that are these are states that are naturally lead towards the blue, even though it looks kind of purplish like that. And part of it is we have this political operative here increasing our awareness in Pennsylvania. You can see we have 18% awareness in uh, Pennsylvania uh, where people know about Lucy, President Pope candidate, and only five for Trump. So... Lucy's like, rah, rah, sis, boom, ba, hop on this airplane, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. She's like, oh, I didn't know the difference between red or blue. Okay, red means it's a Republican opportunity. <laughs> All right, we're going to find out what this question mark is. An old man with money has stepped up to support Lucy Vagina, helping the presidential hopeful connect with his rich, wealthy pals in whatever state he's posted in. Raises your funding potential in targeted estate by 25%. So we're going to take Mr. Money by eggs and put him in California, because that's the richest state. That is good that we got that, because when she goes to fundraise there later on, it'll help out. We're going to go back to Ohio and finish our headquarters. Let's get the maximum one. And then she should have got... See, we got another political operative here. We're going to send him to Michigan to raise awareness. And what are you going to do, Lucy? Oh, man. We need a lot more money in, like, stat. Because we're going to need some special interest ones. If you look at these little red buildings here. Like, Trump is building election headquarters everywhere because he's got a shitload of money. So if we're going to compete, we got to go all the way up to Cali. We spent all our money on our plane ticket out there. She's like, ooh, I like the Sunshine State. Mmm. All right, Trump, where are you going, bitch? Missouri? National Foreign Policy Committee. Donald Trump has won the endorsement of the National Foreign Policy Committee. The NFPC is an organization dedicated to promoting a foreign policy that will protect American interests across the globe and keep Americans safe at home. One of the big disadvantages Lucy has is that she's not good at raising, or she doesn't start with as much money. Um, and we get political capital for special interests 
to get that kind of um, an endorsement. So right now, Trump got this endorsement. And we don't have enough political capital to get any of these because we need to build a headquarters for that. So while we're out here, we're going to start trying to raise some serious funds. Uh, we don't need to show this in the future. But you can see each time we raise funds, the amount of money goes down. Part of the reason it's so high is because of Mr. Moneybags here. There, we just raised a shitload of money. On the next turn, we're going to build a headquarters here. Let's see. We weekly news wrap-up. You can see we're already through six weeks of 41. We are not off to the start we want to be. This is talking about the guys who supported them. Let's see. Trump built new headquarters, new headquarters. We mostly had fundraisers. Donald Trump's won the endorsement of the Tea Party movement. The Tea Party movement's the grassroots organization dedicated to dedicated dedicated to reducing taxes cutting spending and shrinking the size of the federal government uh oh you seriously need more endorsements oh no your opponent has more endorsements than you well we're gonna work on that but and even ohio which was leaning um democrat isn't look at all these places leaning republican red's leading republican that is not good so we're gonna build a new headquarters here um campaign headquarters because we want the awareness to spread and Basically, we're doing it, too, because these earn money, and we need money. Like, a shitload of money. Alright, we got another political operative here. Where are we going to send him? Let's send him to Minnesota. Oh, we're out of stamina. Ding-dong butts. Uh, bright blue or red indicates a state that a candidate's likely to win. Oh, Donald Trump just won the endorsement of the U.S. Chamber of Business. It's like the Chamber of Commerce. And he's putting down another headquarters thing there. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, dude, you're going to go to Minnesota. Um, Lucy. Oh, there's a secret event there. We're going to raise funds. Let's raise funds again. Man, look at all the time we have to waste raising funds just trying to compete with Donald. If we look at this, we can see what states are the richest. Uh, we already mentioned that earlier. Strategy planning, you can try and pick, like, this is just uh, to guesstimate. Oh, that's what we were looking at earlier. You could be like, what if I win Indiana? What if I don't? What if I win uh, Illinois? What if I don't? Just to kind of pick what your route is to that place. Um, that shows what has the most electoral votes and where your awareness is highest. Um, I don't know how the hell I get rid of this. I don't know if it's early access and it does not get off there. All right, Lucy, let us go to New Mexico. Ooh, a Hollywood friend. Taking a quick breather from the spotlight of Hollywood stardom, a critically acclaimed movie star is scheduled the next several weeks to endorse presidential candidate Lucy Vagina. Uh, willing to move to whatever backwater state deemed necessary, this new asset, the Lucy... V um, new asset to the Lucy Vagina election team will raise awareness of the longtime political pal on a weekly basis. All right, so she's like, he's my friend. He's uh, in, like, movies and stuff. He's like, I didn't even have to show my peener in him. We're going to send him to Florida because we have, like, no awareness in Florida. And then, Lucy, we're going to have you build a consulting office because we need to start getting some operatives. We might only be able to upgrade that all the way once. So that's a level one. And that's how we will get these guys. Let me go through here. Operatives who can do all kinds of good things for us. Man, Trump's got all these things everywhere. That dude is loaded. Look at that, Mr. Moneybags. All right, so let's upgrade the consulting office. The Christian Confeder Confederation. Donald Trump's won the endorsement of the Christian Confederation. At this point, nobody is going to endorse us. <laughs> rah, rah, sis, boom, bah, don't you want me to be a presidential pope, y'all? Um, and we can't afford to get this upgraded all the way, unfortunately. That would take a million. What we will do is go to Arizona, though. And we will build an outreach center. That will get us some PR clout. I was going to upgrade it, but we can't we don't have enough points 
Man, it is bad when California is not sure about you and you're a Democrat. Hire an operative. Your consulting offices of speeches have earned enough political capital to hire an operative. Purple states indicate a clay, uh, close race where candidates have high awareness. Um, oh, Ohio's the one state like that. This is not looking good. Look at all of this red area. Holy tits. All right, Lucy. What can we do here? We're going to fundraise. We need more than that, though. And let's look at our operatives. Okay, we can hire a fashion consultant. A fashion consultant focuses on what's important, the canvas of the body. Every day is a chance for Lucy Vagina to wear something stunning to woo over the shallow demographic that cares about such matters. We will hire one of those. So, um, she's going to look better and her ads will be more effective. I'm going to be, like, pretty and stuff? Yeah. Look at her crazy eyes. Um, let us have her raise some more money. We are going to upgrade the um, outreach center here. And then we don't have enough money to do anything here or energy, so. Uh, California and New York are strongly in our group. Oh, another endorsement going Trump's way. The National Gun Owners Association. Donald Trump's won the endorsement of the National Gun Owners Association. The National Gun Owners Association is an organization dedicated to protecting gun rights. She's like, guns are wrong. Like, every year, babies shoot each other with baby guns, and I don't want that anymore. Um, we will have her upgrade the uh, consulting office. Uh, is that the one I wanted? Yeah. And then let's look at special interest. So we've got four points for PR. Yeah. Um, not close to anybody yet. What about for operatives? Three. We're going to need at least a couple more for that. Uh, what do we do now, Lucy? I really want you to get some more TV ads going. That's the only way we're going to beat him is with nationwide coverage. Oh, we got another political operative here, too, because we maxed that out. Let us send him to... Um, fuck. Let's send him to Washington. All right, Lucy, do a fundraiser. Oh, shit. That, we'll have to do another fundraiser. Uh, weekly news wrap-up. Heated race takes early toe on Vagina. Man, they're pounding her Vagina. <laughs> Quick to succumb to the heat of battle, polls show Lucy Vagina has slipped behind Donald Trump in this first leg of the presidential race. You can see it up here kind of with the national overall polls. Um, that's where we are. That's where he is. Don't rule him out so quickly, one expert said. What? Not a he? She's a she. With the Vagina... Um, uh, with the Vagina campaign just getting started, it's much too early to predict a winner. This optimism was ignored at the Trump camp, where staff members are thrilled with early results. Uh, I think he should just throw in the towel. She! She! One of Trump's volunteers joked. I mean, once you have a lead like ours, it's hard to catch up. Well, it is early access, so... Well, we've got California, Pennsylvania, and New York who really like us. Eh... Uh. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, we can turn things around. Right now, if we look at the early polls, if the election were to go today, we'd be pretty close in the popular vote, but we would get killed in the electoral college vote, which is what matters most. Um, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all next time.